Hey YouTube, it's The Real J Doll here on The Real J Doll's channel. Welcome to another video. I'm super excited for today's video because this is about something I'm very passionate about. Now if you know me, or if you just watch my channel, watch my travel vlogs and stuff, you know I love to travel, okay? Like, come on, this is no secret to anyone. I love to travel. And when people travel, usually they collect some kind of memento, some kind of souvenir, they'll do pins, they'll do bells, they'll do shot glasses. But me, I collect patches. So this video is dedicated to me making my denim jacket, customizing it. I'm not making a denim jacket, the jacket's already made, but customizing it and making like a DIY patch jacket. That's what we're gonna be doing today. If you don't wanna kiki with me and listen to my little backstory and stuff, then you can go ahead and skip to this timestamp right here. That's where I'll actually get into creating the jacket. But for those that won't skip through, let's go ahead and talk about it because I just want to share. So, uh, I love collecting patches. My first patch was this one. It's HBCU May. I got this when I graduated college from Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University in Husband, Alabama. Go Bulldogs. Bad, bad Bulldogs. So today I die. These are the nutrition facts for a serving size one black scholar. So committed, educated, confident, courageous, smart, positive, never quit. The daily values always being at a thousand percent. And you can see daily values all at a thousand percent. And I don't think I decided to make my jean jacket or to like start collecting patches until I got my second patch which was actually this one. So I got this patch out in Lake Tahoe when me and my family went to visit my oldest brother and his daughter right after I graduated college. So two patches that are pretty like decent in size, honestly, and I think at this point I was like, okay, like I'm gonna collect patches, that's gonna be my thing. I didn't know if it was gonna go on a book bag or whatever right away, but shortly I decided that it's gonna go on a jean jacket and I've stuck with that ever since. So for about like 80% of the places that I've traveled, I collect patches. My current patch collection, it's a lot. I love my patches so much, y'all. Let's just go through a couple. This I got at New Jersey Ocean City Beach. Usually I try to go for patches that actually say like where it's from and stuff. This one doesn't necessarily say that, but I know it. So, you know, that's a conversation piece if somebody wanna ask me about my jacket because when I wear this jacket, it's probably gonna be mostly when I travel. Probably like my airport jacket. The jacket is pretty thick, sturdy. I'll show it to you guys in a second. Or even just wearing it around. I know it's getting a little warmer outside, but we're still not all the way there yet. So I could probably still wear that now. Um, this I got from Indiana when I went a year ago for one of my close friend's birthdays. This I got from Aruba. Isn't it so cute? Pink and a flamingo. But I got this um, when I went to Aruba for my 23rd birthday. 23rd, come on. That was just last year, my 25th birthday. Um, this one I got from Chicago on my way to Switzerland. This one is so cute, y'all. When we stopped at the Switzerland airport, because we had a layover there, because this is the final destination. But we went there, the people were so rude. Like, I will never forget that. Maybe it's just, you know, being at the airport, trying to get to your flight, don't have time for a smile. Like, I don't know, but the interactions were just weird and um, not the most comforting. But after that, we went to Dubai. If you haven't seen my Dubai vlog, check that out. But this was like major moment. Dubai is a pretty popular travel destination. I went there, I enjoyed it. I have two videos dedicated to it and y'all, go check them out. This one I got, <laughs> wait, let me be honest, okay? So my goal is like to not buy patches off the internet. I try not to cheat, but this was the only one I bought off the internet because I don't know how many times I'll go back to Milwaukee. I went there for one of my close friends Zarya's birthday, like maybe two, three years ago at this point. And I just ordered this off the internet. But all my other patches, like I got these myself. I went digging for it. This patch got from Tulum, obviously. This one I got in Washington, D.C. when I went there for a recruiting trip for my job. And I was just exploring D.C. by myself, waiting on my colleague to get there. This I got from the Bucky's in Alabama. If you know about Bucky's, the biggest gas station in the world. I think the one we went to had like 100 bays. I don't know if they all do or if they all don't. I don't know but that was a pretty big gas station. Crazy thing is they have like so much food on the inside I couldn't eat any of it because I have an allergy. Mm. This one I got from Las Vegas. This one I got in Houston. I got this one last year. And then this I got from Vero Beach when my youngest brother played for the RBI Reds team at the Jackie Robinson Stadium down there. So got a few patches and it's finally time to put them on. I know I will love and cherish this jacket forever. So I tried to get one that wasn't like 
you know, too small, too form fitting because you never know, I might grow get a little big or something. <laughs> so, but this is the jacket. I'll put a clip on the side of the screen actually to show you guys up close what it looks like. But this is the jacket. Mm -hmm. And it's like a bomber jacket. It does have this fur lined hoodie on it. I got it from PacSun. Y'all, it didn't have a tag on it. And I'm like, okay, it's the only jacket I see in here. It's probably on clearance. Probably like a little 50 ball, 30 ball. I got it to the register, they said $78. <gasps> my heart, my heart, but I really love this jacket. And I've been thinking like, dang, do I really wanna put patches on it? Because it is super cute, but I'm gonna do it. I'm dedicated, like, let's go ahead and get it done. It's gonna be amazing, I can't wait. I chose the bomber type jacket though, because I wanted something with like, minimal stitching on it and it has like plenty of canvas for me to just go ahead and decorate it and get busy so yeah that's pretty much like a backstory wow i've talked for seven minutes that's crazy mm -mm. let's get into making this jacket i'm so excited you guys because i'm using my microphone oh my gosh in one of my recent videos so i got down in the comment section told me my audio sucks voiceovers trash and I need to get a microphone so here we are if you commented that thank you for the feedback I appreciate it here we are so materials that you need to make this jacket denim jacket you need an iron ironing board preferably if you don't have an iron board that's okay uh, maybe that's more of a luxury I got an old white t-shirt preferably white so colors don't bleed and then of course I had the patches I have all types of patches they come from all different places Majority of them are iron-on. I think iron-on patches are easier because you literally just heat up the surface, put the patch on, heat the patch up, and then it sticks. There were some, I think I had one, maybe two patches that were sewn on. So I'll have to go and do some needlework for that. But this video is just going to feature the iron-on patches. We have the products, let's talk about placement. Placement for our jackets is key, specifically when it comes to the sleeves. If you were to just iron on the patches straight up and down, when you put on the sleeve, like not having it at an angle, then your patch is gonna be crooked. So it was important for me to actually put the jacket on and place the patches on the sleeve so I could see how it sat on the jacket and where I needed to actually place it in real life. If you wanted to be really accurate, you could get fabric chalk, and if you want to get fancy, you could use push pins, and that way you can actually pin the patch where it's supposed to go. So moving on to the actual application, let's take our jean jacket and lay it out flat on our surface. We want to make sure there are no wrinkles, no bumps, no nothing. Also make sure you're starting off with a clean jacket. I don't know about y'all and I don't know about how y'all were raised, but my mom always taught me to start with a clean base. This can honestly apply to any area of life, but I'm not a life coach and that's what I'm not here to do. So we're starting off with a what? With a what? With a what? Huh? With a hot jacket. You don't have to leave it on for too, too long, but I say 30 seconds is a pretty good amount of time. After I've placed my patch where it needs to go on the jacket, I took the white t-shirt laid it out over top of the patch. Be careful and make sure you don't move the patch out of placement. And I took my iron, pressed it on there firmly, and then left the iron on there. I then took my phone because the instructions instructed me to do so, put my timer on for 30 seconds, and then we waited. I know I talked about how I love to collect patches when I go on travel, but what about you guys? What do you guys like to collect when you go on vacation? For me, of course, patches, but I also collect bells for my mom when I go on vacation because that's her thing. She loves the pretty glass or acrylic bells, and I try to make sure I get that for her every time. But what do you guys like? Comment down below. As you can see, now I am working my iron over the patch, and this was for like the last few seconds before the timer went off just to make sure all ends were firmly sealed. <gasps> oh, it's on! Ah! Whoa! It's on there, for real. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, now I know it looks a little crooked, but I promise when I tried it on, I want it to look like, okay! Okay, okay, but I do want to secure this down a little more. Let's, let's get right, get it right, Jay, get it right. Uh, uh. 
clearly I was excited, but I'm just going to go back over with the iron firmly on that end where I felt like it wasn't secured all the way down. Press down, pick the iron back up in a few. This is my in the house wear. Woo! I love it. Yes, that's exactly how I want it to turn out too. Like you can see from the front. Mm-hmm. Ah, I love it. Let's keep going. And, ah! So sometimes patches have this adhesive on the back and sometimes it doesn't. For this one, you can see like the shine going across and you can also feel it in person as well. And that's how you know this is one that's just like an iron on. You also have some patches like this that literally have no shine on it. You can feel the needlework going on and it has no indication of being iron on either. So that's how I know this is one that I'll have to sew on myself. <laughs> 